Joy, this is the first opportunity that we've had to talk to you for the 2021 women's basketball season. But just talk about how strange it has been, the fall, how that looked for you and your team and, and trying to manage schedules and practices with with only having a certain amount of players available at one time. What was that like for you? Um, challenging, to say the least. Um, uh, this year we've talked a lot about just changing our mindset and being grateful. Um, and, you know, not a lot of teams, you know, across the D3 landscape had an opportunity to be together in the fall. Um, so, you know, we just took each day as just a brand new opportunity to be around each other, get to know one another, obviously socially distanced, um, and try to grow as much as possible in, you know, it, within the confines of having small groups, um, you know, not necessarily being able to do the team activities that we normally do and just trying to, you know, come up with a bunch of different and new ways to, to go about, you know, what we do within, the, within our program. Um, and, you know, with the adversity we faced, uh, this team is pretty resilient at this point, you know, no matter what the future holds for the rest of, you know, this school year and this season. Um, you know, resilience is one thing for sure. Each person on the team can say, you know, we've faced a lot of adversity so far, but uh, we're resilient and we're going to figure this out one way or another. Sometimes when you're forced to change things up as a coach, uh, you learn something you might not have expected to learn. Did you experience that this fall in the way you had to put practice plans together? Um, that I'm probably a little bit more creative than... I've had to have been in the past, um, just trying to to come up with just ways to figure stuff out and, you know, uh, small group sessions, uh, Zoom meetings, I mean, you name it, it's just been so different. Um, you know, and how to communicate just through, just through all of this. Um, nobody expected us to be in this point, you know, just as a society, but we're, we're figuring it out, but communication is, is so important, um, and just how to communicate and, you know, just being creative at the end of the day. Talk about dealing with the disappointment. Uh, first, your only non-conference game was canceled because of COVID, and now your first Northwest Conference scheduled games at UPS are postponed because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's there's always that anticipation of a game and then having that pulled out. What's that been like? Uh, it's been a little bit hard, um, especially on the team, like the expectation and the excitement of, all right, we're you know finally going to play someone. Uh, you know, our last game was in February of last year. Um, but it's, you know, being able to communicate with them and just say, hey, guys, like, this is what's going on. The... The part to be thankful about is, you know, even through COVID and, you know, different people getting COVID on women's basketball and, you know, now UPS, like so far everyone's doing okay. Like I, I think you got to see the blessing in even within all of the craziness that has been happening. Um, and, you know, honestly being able to prepare a little bit more just through practice and um, getting people back from injury it it's just been a roller coaster and a little bit crazy, but at the same time, like, all right, you just got to reset every day, kind of put your feet down and like, all right, this is what we have to accomplish today with what's pre presented in front of us, even though we have had now at this point, by the time Saturday rolls around four missed opportunities for to, to play. Um, but, um, you know, on, on the bright side, we've got an inner squad scrimmage coming up. Uh, just to replace a little bit, a little bit of that. So, you know, the to to see their excitement of right, this is coming is it, it gives me it gives me great joy with that. 